Yeah, this was an interesting conversation because there were some pretty pointed comments from Qin Gang. You know, China's foreign minister said during this call that the U.S. should respect China's core concerns, including the issue of Taiwan. This was conveyed during this phone conversation that took place on Wednesday between Qin Gang and America's top diplomat, Antony Blinken, ahead of Blinken's expected visit to China. Now, according to a Chinese foreign ministry readout, Qin said that China-U.S. relations have encountered new difficulties and challenges and that the responsibility is clear. In a statement, the foreign ministry added this. Let's bring it up for you. Quote, it is hoped that the U.S. will take practical actions to implement the important consensus reached by the two heads of state in Bali, that making reference to the G20 summit um, that took place in November, and effectively manage differences, unquote. Now, the ministry also um, called on the U.S. to stabilize and return to the track of healthy development. Now, on Twitter, we heard this from Anthony Blinken. He said, quote, spoke tonight with the PRC state councilor and foreign minister, Ching Gong, by phone, discussed ongoing efforts to maintain open channels of communication as well as bilateral and global issues, unquote. Now, sources tell CNN that Blinken is bound for Beijing in the coming weeks. His trip was originally scheduled back in February, but was postponed due to the Chinese balloon incident. And this phone call comes after the White House recently warned of growing aggressiveness by the Chinese military. Earlier this month, as you recall, warships from China and the U.S. were involved in that near collision in the Taiwan Strait. The U.S.-China relationship is at its lowest point in decades over the issues of Taiwan, over technology, over trade, over territorial disputes. But engagement is taking place. Just last month, the White House National Security Advisor met with the top Chinese official Wang Yi in Vienna for talks that were described as candid and constructive. Also in May, the CIA director paid a visit to China, a trip that wasn't disclosed until this month. And also earlier this month, the U.S. Commerce Secretary and the U.S. Trade Representative both met with the Chinese Commerce Minister in the United States. And now we have today's phone call between Qing Gong and Antony Blinken, which sets the stage for this long-awaited visit by Blinken to China. Back to you.